Welcome to our discussion today about project management. My name is Phil, and I'll be your host, taking you through this journey of project management. Project management is many things to different people, but there are some commonalities. Every project has a beginning and an end. Every project is designed to deliver output. Whatever that output is, it could be a product, a service, or some result. When you get that product, service, or result, you expect to get some benefits from it. That benefit can be described when we net the benefit as value. For example, you got a phone, maybe it's an Android, maybe you've got an Apple, iPad, whatever it is. But from that device, you expect to get certain benefits. It helps you remember things. It reminds you, it tells you the time, it sets reminders. It tells you what the news is. You store your music on there. You contact your friends and family on it. you got a lot of benefits. The net quantifiable benefits, or you could say the net benefits, that's what value is. So the idea of a project is to get an output that delivers value. We don't do projects for no good reason. We do projects because we're looking to get value. So what is project management? It's applying knowledge about project management. Skills, such as leadership. I call it project leadership because project management has a project manager in the horizon, maybe even in the center of things. That project manager, in order to do her or his job effectively, needs to be a great leader. So I look at it as project leadership. Project management is just a name we've called it for a long time. But when you boil it down, it's leadership. Because leadership is all about influence. If you're not influencing, you're not leading. And if you're not leading, you're going to have trouble on the project. So I want you, right off the bat, to think about project management as applying knowledge, skills, leadership, tools, and techniques to a project to deliver output. And the idea of that output is to deliver value and benefits. And that will result in a favorable outcome. And the outcome could be a number of things. It could be a happier life. It could be an easier way of doing things. So at a very high level, let's take a look at what project management truly is. Let's go to our first slide in our presentation today. Project management can be defined as these things that I have put together on the screen here. Number one, it's leading a team of people to achieve a desired outcome and goals through servant leadership. Number two, it's leading a team to incremental success through excellent communication and interpersonal skills. Number three, it's applying skills, tools, and techniques to organize execute and manage project work and assignments. Number four, it's making proactive changes to manage uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. It is also reporting on project progress and key issues and decisions. And lastly, we could say project management is also about delivering incremental value using hybrid methods and approaches. Now, what do I mean by hybrid methods and approaches? There are two major approaches in project management. First one is called predictive project management. And this is planning everything from the beginning to end. Imagine in this image, you're flying from point A to point B. Everything is planned out because a lot is known. So you plan out as much as possible You've got an idea of where you're going and how you're going to get there. But there are some other kinds of projects which we refer to as agile or adaptive projects. These are projects where you may not have a very firm idea of how to get to where you need to go or where you need to go in the first place. So it's as it were a series of experiments. You carry out the series of experiments iteration by iteration and ultimately you get to your goal, but it has a lot of experimentation in it. We refer to that as agile. 
Now, to give you a visual of how you may combine both worlds, we could have a project where parts of it are predictive and parts of it are agile. And we refer to that as hybrid project management. So now you've got a firm idea about what project management is, applying knowledge, skills, leadership, tools and techniques to your project activities to derive an output that gives you value and benefits to achieve that definite chief aim, to get to that end goal for you to get to your desired outcome. And that's what project management is in a nutshell. Now let's demystify it a little bit further. To demystify project management further, I'll show you a tool that a lot of project managers use on their projects. And it's very simple. It's called a project schedule. And a project schedule is like a timeline with start and finish dates for each activity. You may also take it a step further and assign names to each activity so that it keeps the project on track. So you got to start off asking, what are the steps or the things I need to do to achieve my goal? It's very simple, theoretically. But as a project manager, I can tell you that when you've got lots of people involved in a project, it could be hard, but it's easier when everyone is on the same page. So let's take a look at a document that puts everyone on the same page. It's called the project schedule. So let's go to our tool called a project schedule, and I'll show you really quick. In this schedule, you can see we have tasks. We have who the task is assigned to. We have progress, which we could measure by updating the progress column. We have start, dates, and end dates. You could use a tool as simple as this to show when you're starting a task and when you're ending a task. And you could put the dates in there along with the names of the people working. And you can do this for every step of the project. You can see over here, we have the initiating part of the project, the planning and design, the executing, and we could say the monitoring and controlling or evaluation. And you could ultimately add steps such as closing. And that is a really good tool to use as a project manager just coming in and you have a project thrown at you and you need to begin managing it, this is not a bad tool to use. So in the next number of sessions, I'm gonna be bridging the gaps. I'm gonna be joining the dots and showing you how you go from, you're the project manager, make it happen. I'll be showing you all that you need to do from there to the final destination, which is getting the output the results, the benefit, the value, the outcome that you desire. I'll see you in the next episode and you'll find a link to what I just showed you so you can download that Excel file if you wish to use it on your projects. See you in the next video.